Hey guys, it's me, Parker. Welcome to my channel. I'm back, sort of. <laughs> um, pretty much no one watched my weeklies update, which is fine. It wasn't like a reading or anything that people give a shit about. Um, but basically, I, I pulled a muscle in my wrist uh, about a week ago, and it was really bad. Um, it's still pretty bad, but it's like better to the point where... Um, I can actually do like one or two readings a day, so I still have to be really careful with it, but I'm hoping I can do like one or two readings a day um, for, you know, until the rest of the readings are posted for this week, and then I can be all cut up. Um, so exciting! I'm stoked. I haven't like touched my cards like at all, really, so um, we'll see what comes up. Trying to think. It's Scorpio, Libra, Virgo, and Gemini are the signs that I've done already. Scorpio, I already did you. <laughs> um, so let's see what comes out. Um, I'm hoping to get everything like caught up in the next few days so that more Scorpio. Weird. Okay. That's so funny. Okay. I was like, I had this all in my brain before I even started the reading. Um, but I was going to say, I kept seeing Aquarius when I was shuffling. Um, which is not surprising because um, we are just heading into a full moon in Aquarius, which is going to be on the 3rd, um, August 3rd, so the day after tomorrow. So we're very much in that energy. And it's funny because all like the last two weeks, I kept having justice come out in the readings. And I, you know, I just likened that to like, you know, we're in retrograde and a lot of people are hashing out like old situations and like really going back and like you know ponder contemplating on things in this retrograde energy um and um you know when the wheel turns everything moves forward that's kind of where justice is coming in but it's so funny because I just like looked up to like double check when um exactly the moon is if it was on the second or the third um and I came across an article that said that this moon is all about justice, which is so interesting. Um, so it's kind of funny. I just was like, oh, that's weird because I've been like saying that justice has been coming out in all the readings. Um, but that being said, Aquarius, you could have Scorpio in your chart or be dealing with a Scorpio because um, that was a lot of Scorpionic energy showing up right at the beginning um, there, so definitely for sure could have that in your chart, here's Cancer Capricorn, interesting, I don't know guys, I haven't touched my cards in like a week, so I'm kind of, I'm pumped to see what's up with the energy, I've seen the King to the Queen of Swords already, the world, fixed energy, that's you guys, and I, I do have to go a little bit slower than I normally do, um, so I probably won't be doing as much clarifying as I normally do, um, you know, I gotta keep it kind of simple, um, but I saw this, Ace of Cups, very nice energy, and the Empress, oh wow, okay, very interesting, because all these cards, I was just about to say that, and the Empress I kept seeing, um, when I was shuffling, which is like very, very nice energy, very nice energy, um, so let's do two more shuffles. There's that justice. Almost all major arcana is showing as I'm cutting. So, you know, and keep in mind, you guys, like you, you guys will be most affected, um, in, well, other than moon and Aquarius, um, you know, you could be watching this cause you have that placement. Um, excuse me. Um, yeah, let's, uh, let's see what's up. But yeah, you guys will be pretty affected by this full moon, just saying. Queen of Pentacles. This is huge energy this week. Um, I'm, I'm not surprised because, you know, uh, I did that collective reading and that was like where the kind of fem feminine aspect is sitting in and is preparing to move into Cancer, <laughs> which is like the matriarch, right? So that's Venus. It's like very much so um, moving into that nurturing aspect right now um for this week coming up so very interesting all right uh aquarius aqua whoa <laughs> Alrighty. righty 
Seven of Cups on the bottom. Wow. Wow, you guys. Page of Cups. The Two of Cups. Coming together in love. Or at least thinking about it. This is um typically an offer, a small offer of love, but attached to that Two of Cups, this uh this very well could be, you know, I'm seeing it as a love reading right off the bat. Um, Aquarius, messages for the water bearers, please. Aquarius. I've seen the king to the king of, the queen to the king of wands a few times. Um, they're very, very, as a power couple, they're like CEOs. There's that empress again. Um, you know, they are fire. They're attractive. They're sexy. They're go-getter. They're master manifestors. Ooh, Knight of Swords. Major communication coming in for you guys. Um, this is specifically Gemini, but it is air energy, so that definitely could be you guys. Um, we have someone communicating, um, coming out in air and cups, about two cups. Love, love, love. Whoa. There's that cup. Wow. Feeling burdened by love, though. Like, that's a very worried energy. I don't know necessarily that I'm getting worry um, because that night, um, his cup runneth over is what I'm hearing as I look at that image. Um, I'm just getting, I'm feeling a bit of chaotic and with that, that mental energy going on around this night. Um, that is communication, um, but sometimes with the Ten of Wands, um, it is like, um, it can be just like a lot going on, right? And seeing this, I'm being drawn to how there's like all these arrows are like going all over and there's like stars everywhere. And yeah, it's like, it kind of just feels like there's a lot going on for this person. Either that or they're just like, really like, oh my God, <laughs> like my cup runneth over so much. Like I need to like bring it. <laughs> I need to bring that cup together. With someone but we'll see we'll see we'll see there's that empress on the bottom with the world that's you guys that's fixed energy so i'm gonna leave that over here as the last card and we'll kind of look at that empress yeah like i said uh you know that and that's the underlying energy of the whole reading right um yeah very interesting and that's that world fixed energy that i was pointing out so the underlying energy in this reading is both of those energies that i was pointing out when we started the reading um so let's get some clarification because this is you know the ten of wands a lot going on but the energies here are pretty like cut and dry like it's definitely somebody wanting to move forward with that cup but um, let's see if this is, um, always could be someone around you, man or woman, masculine, feminine, doesn't matter. Um, yeah, we'll see if this is just you receiving that cup. That could be you with that cup. This could all be you. This could all be the other person. Um, we'll see. We'll have a look at this cup. Why the Ten of Wands attached to this cup? That is the end of the cycle, too, um, and then it goes to Ace of Wands, which is like a new beginning, like passionate new start, like actually moving forward in action, like that King and Queen of Wands. Um, so it could just be that, you know, this person's been holding back on this for a while, um, and that's what's starting to become burdensome, and then it has to come together into that, too, but we'll see why the Ten of Wands, okay? mysticism Ooh, I don't know why I'm just seeing that as the empress totally kind of mystical empress there quest okay and joy with the ace of cups and the empress that is a lot of joy perception and expansion so what was I just saying about um this person being burdened and again could be you could be the other person um, being burdened by hanging on to this cup for so long, um, and it's like, it runneth over, it's gotta move, right, and then it, we're moving from the ten 
which is the burden of not moving, to the one, um, which is that expansion energy, the start of a new cycle, right? And perception when we, when we, um, when it goes, right? Moving from that burden, like, oh, energy, um, to the one, right? So let's see what else comes out with that. Why the perception change? Um, but there's definitely expansion. Remember how I was saying, like, the cup runneth over, um, it's got, that's a, cups are emotion, cups are love, cups are compassion, um, all the things that, you know, make an empress so, um, you know, um, a lot of the suits, um, hold great dominion over the physical plane, you know, swords are communication, verbal and thought, um, pentacles are, are coin, are stability, um, wands are action, um, you know, um, cups are emotion, but not necessarily, um, so great at like the physically expansive, but you know, the, the Empress is very abundant, um, very abundant and expansive in that sense, able to, um, able to, uh, put, um, that cup into action, right? Cups are emotion or, or feels, right? Especially with that two of cups and that page there. Um, just just um, with that ace of cups and the page of cups uh, and the expansion energy, I'm, I am getting a fertility vibe um, for sure. Especially because underneath this, um, there's a woman there. She's all naked and she, her, um, her uh, sexual center is all lit up there, right? Um, and underneath, she's kind of looking at, at this, uh, I always get time off this, but it is a card of gestation, like, um, something like bearing fruit moving forward. So definitely heavy fertility vibes in this reading for sure. Um, for those of you that are female or involved with a female who could be getting pregnant or could become pregnant or wants to be pregnant. <laughs> Just saying, if you don't want that, um, careful, because I'm, I'm getting heavy, heavy fertility vibes off this. Maybe someone wants to make a baby with you. Just saying with that two of cups there. Um, okay. Expansion and perception with the ace of cups. I mean, this is a really good reading, you guys. The ten of cups doesn't, e or ten of wands doesn't even have to be that. Um, um burden some of an, an energy it can just mean a lot going on um if you are expecting or you're going to um you know going to be it's going to be hectic queen of swords there's you guys six of cups okay that can be childhood that can be child energy as well page there's a lot of pages here um could also be to somebody maturing with that cup. I'm picking up on another message here where that's the expansion of perception, somebody's view of love and cups and emotion runneth over in the sense that their um, perception of love is expanding. Um, and they're dropping that burden of not, you know, doing anything with their cup. Um, but we'll see. Let's do one more shuffle. Expansion and perception. Whoa, okay. Wow. Wow. <laughs> you guys, look at this. Wow, look at that. He is like totally. And I was going to say, I saw that. Uh, the Ace of Pentacles, New Beginning. It's literally a pentacle. It, it can be a seed. Like it can be like literally the seed, right? Um, it's just very tangible. It's, uh, you know, it starts the one and goes all the way to the 10. Um, and remember how I was saying there's that gestation energy, right? Of that, that will it bear fruit? Um, what pentacle am I investing in here? And underneath that, we had a page of coins. Very interesting. A lot of pages, a lot of young energy, Again, child could be involving children, um, could be an age difference. 
Um, or, you know, again, that, that um, expansion perception of your cup, um, feeling very green or something maturing here. But look at that. Um, that is like, he's like, that's like victory with a new opportunity, hands down. Like he's even holding them both up. He's like, oh my gosh, like I did it. I win. Like I'm going to win. <laughs> I'm just hearing I'm going to win. And like we have the ace of cups and the ace of pentacles. That's like new love, like new, new, new. Ooh, death in the tower on the bottom. And here's that, um that offer, that pentacle coming in, remember how I said it leads the 10, right? And that is also about family. So I am getting starting a family vibe. Maybe you guys are meeting someone um, because we have this tower energy, right? And that's underlying with the empress and the mysticism. Maybe you guys are meeting someone that really matures your idea of love or um, changes your mind um, with those arrows, a redirect of um, your perception about expanding like into family life or, um, you know, changes your perception on, on where you're going in life, right? You know, maybe that's something you never wanted. That's so funny. New beginnings, new, 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 uh, which is beautiful um, because, you know, um, yeah, it's just new, but there's all this expansion and victory. Like there's literally not even a bad card here other than the tower, which can just be, you know, it being very unexpected, right? Um, and if some of you find out that you're pregnant, then, you know, obviously that's not always expected, right? Um, okay, interesting. So I'm just saying, you guys, like if something new presents itself to you guys this week um really like you know nurture it because this is like very nurturing beautiful right as I said queen of um queen of cups energy it's funny I don't really have like much aqua coming out here so I really think this is moving in this could be happening around you you could be watching this happen to someone around you um, or you could be meeting someone and you're changing their perception about what it means to be victorious or what it means to be in love, right? Um, especially if there's an age difference between you and someone else. Whoa, okay, that's way too many. Oh, that's so interesting though. <laughs> Just saying, we have a lot of collaborate. I'm not going to take all those, but we had the Hierophant coming out with the High Priestess, which is... The counterparts to each other which is very interesting energy I like that um, that's very nice so that Queen of Cups again going like the fool into that new beginning with emotion beautiful tell me more about this Ace of Pentacles please Ace of Pentacles okay Queen of Swords interesting so kind of mirroring um that is you guys Queen of Swords, what's she doing? Oh, wow. Yeah, and here's this, um, this full energy dropping from the Ten of Wands down to the One, and the way that the cards came out. Um, this really looks like someone moving towards you with this full energy dropping down to the One. That's a lot of fire. It could be a fire sign, definitely, moving towards you. Um... And maybe you're, maybe you're seeing this person and you're like ready to, to not, um, with that sword, maybe you're, uh, maybe you're not wanting to, um, have this collaboration or if there is an age difference or if someone was immature in the past, um, they, um, you know, they could be dealing with a Sagittarius. I'm seeing that here as well. Um, but with the death card and the queen of swords, you're kind of meeting this person, um, who's clearly communicating that they want to collaborate with you. It's almost like you're meeting them in this energy of, of, um, cutting it out. Like, uh, you're just, you're expecting bullshit from this person, right? 
Um, but this looks really great, you know, and it's totally, um, yeah, with that expansion energy, this could just be talking about a transformation of someone and they're communicating now that they want to, um, collaborate with you. There's definitely two cups wanting to come together here and you're kind of meeting, um, this person in your sword energy, which swords cut shit out, right? Um, so... Yeah, um, there may be a reason for that, especially, like I said, if they were immature, um, but this energy looks really good, so let's, let's quickly look at the Knight of Swords, because I think that's you guys, although that is communication, um, and then we'll look at this Two of Cups with this page, clarify the Knight of Swords, please, whoa, too many, that's one shuffle, I guess, Ten of Cups, ooh, well, there's Cups, and Pentacles, and Wands, the good one, like, this is all new. We had the Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords, the Ace of Wands. This is new, and it looks good. Um, maybe this person reminds you of someone from your past, and it's a call for you to expand. Yeah, there's a, remember how I said there was that, I always get time off this card, right? I always get time off that card. Um, and that person's really thinking about it. Um, and I just saw the card of memories. So I really think that you guys are, this person might be reminding you of someone from your past. Um, wow. And there's the king of cups. Yeah, with the eight of cups and the four of cups, you guys. I think something happened in the past where a king of cups, which make no mistake, it's a king of cups. You know, he's very in his feels, he's very emotional, and, he, and there was the queen to the king, so a match. But you're coming out as an empress, um, which is kind of a step above a king, right? Um, so that might be why you're kind of looking at this person like, yeah, I've dealt with your kind before, right? That's kind of what I'm getting off this, because we have a king underlying walking away and rejection, um, so I did see judgment. This could be someone that you've dealt with in the past. Um, or it could just, I'm just getting the vibe that this is really new and it just reminds you. <laughs> There's that Knight of Swords. Um, I hadn't even looked yet. You guys got guarded. Um, it just reminds you of someone um, from your past. That's kind of what I'm getting here. Wow. Definitely could be dealing with the Sagittarius, the Sagittarian energy that I was picking up on. Temperance. Temperance is um, balance, it's patience, it's, uh, you know, it's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful energy. And there's that Ace of Cups. And um, we have uh, expansion with uh, temperance, that Sag, that uh, expansion is Jupiter energy, right? So this is looking really expansive and that's a big, big cup there, right? Really nice. Um, let's look at this actual page wanting to come forward. Um, but I try, like personally, if this was my reading, ow, sorry, <laughs> it hurts. Um, if this was my reading, I would be very excited by this very excited that is like and temperance is kind of like something being brought in of a divine nature it's like approved by spirit like it's like very and there's that three of pentacles very collaborative energy very beautiful energy and i think you guys are just quick to um to butt heads with this fool beginning because of shit from the past right and see how see how um She's got her stone, right? She's like, oh, like, she's letting, like, her thoughts guide her, um, guide her. But this is kind of about, like, faith, you know what I mean? Um, with that mysticism energy, it's, like, not giving in to, like, getting too, like, stuck in your head and overthinking it, like, drowning it out. And here, and that could just be what this Ten of Wands is. You're worried about it because your perception is skewed about it, right? But all this energy is leading to expansion. Like, it's really beautiful energy. So let's look at this page really quickly. Wrap up the reading. Ooh. Seven of Cups, Confusion. Okay. 
with that perception. Um, this could definitely be a past person, but I'm seeing this as how you're viewing this person. Because attached to this, this Ace of Cups, um, the Two of Cups with you coming together, remember how I said there's that in between you guys, you're like facing each other? There's conflict, there's that, that pensive Ace of Wands, there's the Four of Pentacles, so this is really requiring you guys to have some faith here, because there's, um, oh, and there's your Emperor, oh, with the Two of Cups. Yeah, and then things done in the dark in the past underneath that. Um, so this, if this is someone from your past, this is beautiful energy, um, really indicating a transformation has occurred here. Um, I am seeing new, 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 new. So if this is someone from your past, they're like new. Um, but it also could just be you. Maybe this isn't looking like how you wanted it or with that page energy, it's... There's something about it that's not like, this isn't the cup that I asked for, right? Or you're getting too stuck in your head because of stuff in the past, right? And you're really hanging on to that past um, conflict. And that's where you're kind of faltering to meet this in the middle, right? Uh, why the pensive? What's with the conflict? Is it just the past? What? What's up? What's up? Yeah, getting stuck in the past. Ooh. Two of Wands, um, so deciding to go, deciding back and forth, yeah, and past commitments where there was pain, right, rejection in a commitment, um, yeah, you know, it's great energy, guys, it just looks like you're letting the past hold you back here, okay, 